All right, we got the game. It is Sito indeed. Good evening, sir. Have a nice stream day and stream. Will it be a short stream or a long one? If it's long, I'll buy cola, chips, etc. <laughs> is that really the case? Do you actually go and buy Coke and chips in case I stream longer? That's crazy. Treat me like a movie. Um, I'll probably stream three to four hours today. I reckon. Whoever's name in AW3 is MBL sucks. Was it? Sounds like something I would do. I don't remember that. Actually, maybe I did. Yeah, maybe I did. Vietnamese Burgundians. I actually had the exact same matchup against MBL. Where I was Burgundians, he was Vietnamese. Two, two or three days ago. Good enough to buy chips, cola. Pop some Rage Forest. I hope for Rage Forest as well. Trust me. We're all hoping for some Rage Forest. Oh, nice See some activity in the Rage Forest Discord now. Apparently, I just finished the game, but I'm not sure if it's the Elo. Where I want to play. I was meeting with the villagers, builders. Uh, <laughs> we went there. So, tell this, tell it how it went. We had an appointment at 11 a.m. with the building manager and the electrician, that, or like the electrician that was supposed to work there. We were running a little bit late. We texted them, hey, we're going to be like 10, 15 minutes late. Um, the construction manager texted us in, like shortly before we arrived, saying he has a meeting at the office or he'll be an hour late. We're like, wait, what? Why do you have a random meeting at the office suddenly when you made an appointment with us? Uh, and we arrive, let's say, 11.15. And we have Justus with us, obviously, our dog. Uh, Justus has big diarrhea. So when we walk out the car, he's literally sitting there pooping five minutes straight. So we end up being five more minutes late. And as we start walking the road towards our house, we see a car driving. It looks like it could be a, like an electrician car. Uh, electrician car. We see that car driving down the street, like away from our house. And I make a joke that oh, that's our, uh, the electrician. Turns out it was the electrician. So we arrive. The electrician apparently left. And he was mad that we no one was there on time. Uh, so the electrician calls our building manager, and complains. But, like, did the building manager not tell him that we were going to be late? Or that he was going to be late, even? Apparently not. And the electrician guy... Oh, I don't have a building. Oh, shit. The electrician is mad and upset that no one was there. So he refuses to come back. So, 
the uh, oh, I still need a building. So apparently he now cancelled the job, and the building manager now has to look for a different, a different electrician. Yeah. So apparently the building manager is the only guy we are in touch with, by the way. The building manager is the only guy we were in touch with, and we told him that we are probably going to be 10-15 minutes late. So our question is, why did the building manager not tell the electrician, so the electrician isn't just sitting there by himself? And secondly, why did the building manager start have a business an appointment in the office, so he will be one hour late after making an appointment with us? Thirdly, what kind of kin kindergarten is it where you're so upset that no one was there 15-20 minutes early that you cancel the job completely and refuse to come back? <laughs> what? What is this? It's just so foreign to me, this type of behavior. But maybe it's a part of being Norwegian, where Norwegians are, I would say, very chill. I don't know. And the manager, building manager was like, well, yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm managing 10, 10 building sites at the same time. Like, but then you still need to keep track of your appointments. You cannot just have random meetings at our the same time that we are supposed to have an appointment with you. Is this normal? Or is it only me that find this to be like a little bit like wrong on every part? Obviously, it's bad by us to be late. It's bad by the behavior of the electrician. And it's bad by the building manager. But like... I feel like it's very childish, immature behavior. Kind of. But like, in the end, we are the customers. We're paying a lot of money for this stuff. I find it weird. Just how this all played out. Construction industry industry is going very bad in Germany right now. Almost all construction contracts get cancelled. Then why would they run away from... Like, why would the... Um, electrician guy not want to work? I don't get it. Sounds like kindergarten, yeah. Electrician is prima donna. You're better off with, without him. <laughs> Feels that way. I'm just gonna go spears and skirms. Because that's cool. I would say it's quite unusual, but nothing surprising. Okay, fair enough. But I'm, am I off thinking that it's silly? Maybe it's an old guy that's set in his way. Maybe. Still. It is silly, I agree, but I also picture an old grumpy man having a very bad day. I mean, you never know, right? I think we all were at fault there. But I also think there's uh, an expectation on how you manage things. Ooh, that was close. Like, I think you can deal with things in a nicer way, let's say. In general. Oh, he's actually going skirms. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Then we're gonna need a... A blacksmith. Could be annoying. Let's see how he, he micros this. Oh, 
Still making full scouts, by the looks of it. No upgrades. I would say that went, all things considered, pretty nice. Let's bring the lowish pivots back. Manage was doubt low. <laughs> You don't see a, a Burgundians play this aggressive often. That's interesting. Can I just go Cav Archers? I wonder. Do I want to go cross post? I don't think so. I'm just going to try and go Cav Archers. So has the manager arranged not meeting with you ASAP? Uh, the manager right now is currently looking for another electrician. That's our current status. Okay, he's at home, that's good. I just want to keep him home until I'm up now, essentially. Still making a lot of scouts. He has fletching. Scare more meta. Me and MBL, when we played this matchup as well, we made only skirms. Who knows, maybe this is just a skirm matchup. So we're just looking for the best possible trade, essentially. We know we're going to lose our army here, but we want the best possible trade. I probably want the house there. Uh, let's do that as well. So we have a moment of weakness now. He has forging, he could decide to run in if he wants to. Don't think it's a good idea though. Oh, that's a cheeky move. I mean, uh, on paper, the skirms are trapped for a little bit. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, shit. This is fine. Right? This is fine. Also, thank you. I can't afford that. I don't mind my position. It's a bit messy. Could have been not as messy. I, I went for the risk. I took it. Didn't check his upgrades. I should have checked his upgrades. 
That's some upgrades. He doesn't have bloodlines though with um, with the Burgundians. So his light cap player, we're not too worried about. Little culpit. Building a house is not a difficult task if you get the right people. Problem is construction service tend to be met if not supervised. Okay. The main issue we have right now is I don't have the upgrades. What, what's happening here? I don't have bloodlines, husbandry, all that good stuff. Yes, Cavalier. Why is the game so choppy all of a sudden? I think I missed two volleys shots because of the timing being off. Which I would like to blame on the choppiness. Never seen work with that many houses. <laughs> Things happened, okay. Yeah, I definitely need bloodlines. Husbandry here. Oh, is that open? Wait, where, where did they, they come in? Or did they never... I'm a bit confused. Overstaying is welcome a little bit. But maybe it's worth it. You guys see the choppiness? It's just like the game isn't smooth. Yeah, once we got ballistics, those trades will go even better for us. Maybe he's collecting the relics in the meantime. We need bloodlines and we need um, husbandry. Then we're happy. At least it wouldn't hurt either. Like low FPS, yeah, kind of, just like stuttery. Well, if he has out of TCs, he should have at this point, probably. Probably picking up relics as well, you would imagine. I kind of need to heal these units. Ah, time again was off there for me. All right, time to get that. It looks to really go for the full Cavalier. I like it. Timing again. It's committing. I find it a bit weird that he's committing. Do I ever get a conversion? Thank you. So maybe it was a good fight for him in the end. Hmm. This is where the question mark is economy, right? Who? How is? He, how is his economy? I have a handcart actually, which is a good job by me. 
Elephants? Ah, he will always have monks. I kind of want to pick up relics before he can get them all. And the accuracy of these things, what the hell. I'm getting to uh, critical numbers of cab archers. Tempted to commit on the monks. Now the score looks very much in my favor. Oh, his numbers aren't scary anymore. I think I can start just committing on the fight. Doubt what I won by now with either side. Of course, it's doubt. One thumb ring as well. What is this path thing, bro? What? The way this units group up. It's amazing. Looks like he has done a good job of picking up relics and such. Ooh. I think he's gonna struggle to maintain production. Okay, let's leave wounded cow watchers behind to heal up. Oh, Timo. Okay, we know he has economy. Has an extra town centers. Scorpion. Oh, he's going for the faster imp cavalier. Hmm. I think I have to go pikeman. Going for a paladin is the word we're looking for. So we kind of want to fight now. He's done with that. Before he gets the last armor upgrade. A little bit surprising that he took the fight for that long. I don't have the farm eco for sustaining the production right now. Uh, I mean, this is fine for me. I don't really mind that he comes in there. Hello? I don't have a market either. My eco balance is not very pretty. Whoa! Oh, hello. Paladin! I need a market badly. Need to turn a lot of these wood shoppers into uh, farmers. It's good work for him. Yeah, he did deny that castle.
He has Imperial Edge upgrades now. I would say it's looking like it's working. I need numbers. Oh, Pikeman. I have 14 farmers. That is not very impressive. It's looking very bad now. That was a nice move by him, the fast rim. I should have been way more active with taking fights early on. Because I had um, had a way better army in Castle Age. And we did not do a good enough eco-management eco job. Seven farmers. Camels? Yeah, it would be nice. Let's see, how much eco did he have? Yeah, it's a 2TC faster imp. I think that was a I would th I think that was his only win condition, so that was a really good decision by him. Very stop eco management by us to not get more farmers up. And this castle. If this castle is up, I think we're also kinda of fine. But then again, he could raid our left side still. <laughs> we're so far. We have more wills, but we're so far behind economically. Yeah, it's only like eight more wills. He's only two TC. I guess I added my third TC late as well. Not sure how much damage we took in Fuel Age. I think we lost maybe two or three bills. Yeah, I just need to force more fights here and then we're good. Because we have 10, 15 more bills here. We force a few more fights with uh, our Cavatures. Force him to trade better. Oh yeah, he got four relics in the end. That was also something we wasn't able to deny him.